Okay, Swift backup, which you may be probably already heard about, and I just heard it some days ago. Honestly, I didn't knew about Swift backup. I always use Migrate, but after using and after making video on Migrate, some users commented and they told me about Swift backup. Thanks to all of them who reminded me about Swift backup. So I tried it. I installed it on my device. So in this video, we're going to talk about Swift backup. That is it better than Migrate? It has very different UI if you compare it with the Migrate app, but but yes it's looking quite good it's minimal and it has other other extra features available if you compare it with the migrate app i'll make sure to i will try to make sure to give you the complete tutorial on this also i'll try to give you the difference between all of these apps but right now we're just going to talk about the swift backup is it good enough to use and how to backup data and how to restore your data so make sure to watch this video till then it comes with the cloud sync option which is actually paid so we're not going to use that paid method first of all we're going to talk about the backup of all these apps of course if you want to backup of all these apps and want to change the custom room that's quite helpful so for example i'm just going to take backup of three or four apps in my case i selected so you can take backup of all these apps it's just up to you but I'm just gonna take some normal apps for example I'm gonna choose three apps here you need to choose which things you want to take backup app plus split APKs which is necessary of course you should take that and including that you also need to use data you can also choose external data and expansion but I will not recommend you it's just up to you the two things are basic and main so we've chosen all these things it will show like this and after the backup successfully completed you will see the sound so yes it's quite good including that if you want to take the backup of your messages of course that's also necessary in my case i always choose these kind of things so simply go grant the permission now go to backup messages and just simply take the backup of how many messages you have and you simply don't need to do anything else you simply need to click on backup messages and you're good to go and of course as i previously mentioned it's paid if you want to use the cloud backup if you don't want to use the cloud backup if you want to use a local backup then it's a very good choice I'm not differentiating between I'm not I'm not going to differentiate these things right now but I will tell you the difference very very soon in my upcoming videos but right now we're just gonna talk about the swift backup okay so as you can see we just took the backup of all these things so yes we took the backup locally so the main thing is we need to simply take the backup of this because in my case my internal storage is gonna wipe soon so we have this folder named swift backup where we have all of our data like this backup sketch schedule like this so we have this swift backup folder available so if you have a memory card sd card then it's good go to copy click on your sd card and paste it if you don't have your sd card it's better to use usb storage hard drive or wherever you want to use or else you can simply use a cloud backup and you need to pay something for that but as a free method that's a very good choice so we have already backed up all those things took the backup so in my case i already installed a custom room so as you just know it's actually a rooted method so first of all we need to install magisk on our device so let me just try to root my device first i tried installed other custom room here so i will restore all these things ahead of you so make sure to watch this video till the end we're gonna install magisk right now the latest magisk version is always recommended and yes in my case i'm using magisk 23 which is right now the latest version and after installation of magisk you need to install swift backup from the google play store which i've already installed it by the way so i don't need to install that again and again but you need to install the swift backup again after installing swift backup on your device it will ask you to sign in with your google account don't worry you can sign in very easily in my case i'm i already signed in from my google account you can also sign in and as i previously mentioned you if you want to use the cloud backup you need to pay but if you don't want to use a cloud backup if you want to use only the local backup then you need don't need to worry about and of course if you are a migrate user i don't think so you might have any kind of issues because migrate is offline so yes there might be no issues with the paid and cloud etc okay so as you can see we have just rebooted our device and after reboot it might take some little bit of extra seconds to install magisk to show magisk on a device if you don't know how to install magisk i made a dedicated video on that one 
too so make sure to check out that that how you can install magisk so here we have this magisk installed sorry for some kind of disturbance you know sometimes happens so this is the magisk option click on settings click on allow from the source if you are having these issues so we're just installing magisk on our device which is necessary you don't need to open that it's not necessary we simply need swift backup on our key in our case so yes we just took the backup in sd card so of course we need to paste it in our internal memory also so we're just gonna cut paste it on our internal storage as we have all these things so let me just try to remember it and merge and we have already done this by the way i just wanted to let you know about this that we have this option available for you so you need to place it in your internal storage once again after opening all these things so just replace it everything is done now you need to open swift backup in your case open this after opening the swift backup it will ask you for the root permission of course you need to grant it and yes it will show you root status access granted now we need to restore all these app and as you can see the backup is showing as yes because we already shared we already placed it in all of our internal storage these are the things we have click on restore and like the previous thing where you have backed up all these things in the case of restore it will also show you some kind of it will just give you kind of a sound that this thing is an app you get this kind of error which means that app is not compatible i'm using mx player pro which was not properly backed up which was not properly restored by the way but i have no issues the main apps were just working fine so no issues here including that i also need to use these sms's so sms was also working fine you need to select the default app to this message app if you want to restore these apps so after restoring you can simply move back to your normal default messages app but for some seconds you need to do that and it's almost same like migrate one so migrate and swift are almost same but the swift backup has different and new and something user friendly ui kind of thing so yes it looks better for now but i'm not sure these are the things you get here and if you want to use it you can give it a try the link for this swift backup is in the description it's available on the google play store for free if you want to use the cloud backup you only need to pay something for that but if you don't want to use the cloud backup as you can see i didn't need it to reboot my device as you just saw i tried restore some apps here telegram idm it was just working fine so yes that's why i'm using it even though everything is working good here these were the things i just wanted to let you know and if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me a lot of videos a lot of tutorials like this i'll make sure to provide you very very soon about this migrate and swift backup comparison if you want that comparison you can comment below or else i'll try to skip that because my get video is already available swift backup video is already available thanks for watching goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air